eventually you're not gonna be doing any of this. You're gonna you're not gonna be doing like roll or whatever. Yeah, how do you a professional grab the ledge? Wow. But I can wave dash. Yeah, but you can't do a frame perfect turnaround into fast fall. No, I cannot. <laughs> At the end of the day, though, I think mostly things are progressing well, and we're going to tr keep trying to work on the things we have been doing, like laser shuffles, because you still need a lot more um, refinement in those. Mm -hmm. Elcastling needs to be 90 plus. Um, shuffling needs still better control and better aim. Being better at picking what aerial to do out of a shuffle. You've used a lot of back air when jumping forward, for example. But I stopped doing that, though. As much. Do it maybe like twice a day. For, oh. Just for old times. Oh, old Je times. oh Jenny. <laughs> you do it like twice a game, not twice a day. But let's get into the meat of the thing, which is edge guard. Edge guarding is uh, pretty complicated for most characters in melee, and there's going to be a lot of different situations. It basically refers to any single time where the opponent is off stage. It is important to realize that edge guarding kind of refers to when they're on the edge. In ultimate, people call this lead trapping, but generally it's still a little bit part of it. But for now, we're gonna focus on preventing them from even getting to the edge, like grabbing the edge like this mm. or landing on stage at all. And then we'll try to deal with the ledge situation some other time because that is something we will go into, but for now, I'm not gonna delve too deep. So um, hitting them when they're trying to get to the edge, mm. like they're trying to do this basically, or this mm -hmm. with a down air, very good. Um, very big threat. And this works again. I just don't know when to do it though, because they have a bunch of invol and stuff when they're on the ledge or when they're doing an yeah. thing. So again, we're only focusing right now on not making them grab the edge in the first place. So we're not talking about once they already grabbed this. Mm. We're talking about here. Mm. He's gonna jump. Falco's gonna jump. That's when you want to pounce. That's when you want to attack. Okay. Or when he's up being like this, right? You want to stop him from grabbing the edge in the first place. Does that make sense? Yes. But then usually if you try to hit the fire fox or bird, then it, they hit you. Right. So that's again that's timing about thing. timing and mostly move choice. Mm. F smash is not very good at this sometimes because when you do an F smash, you notice how he like leans first and then swings with mm -hmm. his foot. That means that you can get hit all the way until this part. Mm. So if you lean into attack like a side B or a Fox up B, you're gonna get hit first. That's why we want to use faster attacks that can actually be done on reaction, and you can use down air, nair, and back air for this. Okay, but I it's want a short hop to it. Um, this will depend, but generally, I will say that a good go to with Falco is to go to the edge. You can even, if you want to make it easy for you, if you have time, like you hit him off very far, you can roll to the edge. This will turn you to, backwards. Yeah. See how you turn now? Mm -hmm. And this will set up for back air. And you can also downer. And the downer will still hit even though it's faced the wrong way. Won't that send them in a uh, weird angle? No. Uh, as long as you hit with the back part, they will still fly that way. Okay. So if we make it like, let's say he's at like this percent. See how he still flies to okay, the left? Okay, okay. Yeah. And again, this is all just, you know very very basic if you hit him very far um you have time to do this you roll and then you wait for him and then you try to if he goes high like he tries to recover gets on to the stage very high you can j full jump him and back air maybe double jump even okay um this is very useful characters that like puff peach and maybe falcon who want to recover high if they mm -hmm. try if they try to go middle so they try to go this angle mm -hmm. Like maybe a Falco slide B like this, mm -hmm. or maybe an up B like this. Yep. What do you do? Short up, downer. Yeah, short up, downer, or short up, back air. Okay. Um, short up, downer won't win as often if they're going straight in because you're turned the other way. Will they like go back on the stage or will they get... Uh, if you time it right, they will still die. Okay. Um, but... Back air is very, very good for this. So mm. rolling to the edge and then being ready for back air like this is a very, very good option. Okay. Also, it's just good to be able to learn to run to the edge and then stop there. The important thing to know, though, is that like if you get into this position, mm. you want to jump a little bit back 
Like you want a little bit back uh, like that. Because otherwise you like shoot over. Otherwise. Uh, that, that has happened to me. Yeah. You can also do run forward and then shield. Shielding will stop you. Mm. And then jump out and down air. Okay. So um, down air against people that are below you. Mm. Or people recovering like in the middle. So like this is, you know, kind of in between. Where if you're doing this, this is your favorite angle. Then that's still kind of below. Mm. So down air hits this way and you're recovering this way. So it, it will be basically everything as long as it's time. And then it's just about learning to time it. Um, it's gonna take a long time and as you get better at this, it's gonna get better and better. But for now, I would say, let's focus on the onstage edge guards. Yes. And then eventually you can teach you to jump out and like risk everything. But for now, we want to focus almost all of it on just getting good at staying on stage in edge guarding because that is also where Falco shines the best mm. no pun intended you can also laser laser is good because it will bring them down if they try to side b and they get by laser mm. they have to start the side b again which gives you more time to like side b and then down i mean laser then down as you put them below the stage because they keep getting hit by lasers mm. when they try to jump then you do with the down okay or back but i would prioritize trying to get to the edge and doing that in a good motion, practicing this motion, just mm -hmm. getting to the edge um, and learning how to do this, how to do short up nair and short up back air. Again, you can do like, you can go to the edge and then dash backwards, which will turn you around. And then you can use the front facing leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's very basic, but I, it's gonna be the thing you wanna use the most. Well, that's probably gonna give me some mileage yeah. at my um, unranked level. Now, again, if they try to go high, you can do back air, or you can do like nair like this. Just make sure you don't fall off. You can also down air high. Um, if you think they're gonna go like an angle like this or something, could probably do a down air here, but I wanna keep it simple and try to do back air here mm. and get comfortable with doing, getting to the edge, dashing back one, like very quickly and then jump back air like this. This is what you wanna do against side Bs and you can also do short up nair against side Bs. Yes. If, uh, if you think they're gonna side be like this, and you're where Falcon is now, you want to time short up nair like that. Okay. And do I have to read the side beast? Because I mean, up beast is like okay, you can tell because they're charging. Generally, the yeah, you try to cover side B on read mm. uh, for Fox and Falco, yeah. and then if they don't do side B, then you cover. Try to still guess what angle they're gonna get go. So generally how that goes is like, well, they either side B or up B here. And if you do a nair, like you do a nair here and they sort on up B instead, you still get like time to land and do another edge guard. So maybe that edge guard will be like an F smash or another aerial, like nair into nair, nair into downer, because you think you're gonna go to the edge. One thing I will add then is how to grab the edge, right? Yes. Now you see probably other characters do this. The easiest way to do this uh, there's a lot of different ways to grab the edge. It's to be turned around and then jump to the edge. If you do a full, if you do like a backwards jump, you can grab it like this. That's the easiest. What if I fall down? That's why I'm not starting with that. Okay, okay. I yeah. thought this was the one I was so, going to learn. The easiest way is to do the same roll that you used to back it like this, right? Mm -hmm. And then once you're here, you just jump and you press nothing. Okay you will grab the edge. And how long did I have involved frames for this so that I can edge? What's it so called? you have Hog. like half a second after you grab the edge here. Mm. And then if you do a roll or a get up like this, this mm. is press forward and this is press R, you get more involved. The important thing to know is that when you're holding this edge, they can't grab it. Can't. No. Only one person can grab the edge. Yes. Right? Oh, so it doesn't have anything to do with the invul? Um, the invul matters, and okay. we'll, we'll talk about that too. But yes, just having no... The fact that they can't grab the edge is very important. So we're going to put your own character here. Um, if you want to, you can try to learn this, but to edge guard. But honestly, the best way to edge guard against someone is to find someone willing to practice it with you and just recover over and over and then like do it i'm not gonna do it what? You, you you can find someone else but i you i live with a smasher yeah a pro smasher 
Um, so we're gonna set him to record and then we will jump inside B like this, right? Okay. And now you've just been doing F smash. Yes. Which is not great because it's very slow and if I do it too late or if I'm like here, it might f fly the wrong way. And that's often how it looks when you do it. Okay. So what you want to do here is you want to down air. Mm -hmm. See how good they, it that is? That was better. For yeah. Sure. And again, this the reason why. Are you why reading I, it or like I mean not obviously you know it's. Yeah, I know it's gonna come up. So yes, I am reading it. But because down air has very little lag, you can honestly like like you can kind of just go here and then spam down air, and like I still got time to punish that even when it doesn't hit. Oops. And then, you know, if they go past me, worst time I can like shine or grab them or whatever. You also said Nair was okay. Yeah, Nair is also okay, especially when they're a little bit higher. This is just a general thing, right? Mm -hmm. If they're, but right now he's very close to the edge. So you want to do Nair, but Nair also works, see? Now, the most important thing is to realize that this is going to take timing and you're going to have to learn how to move to the edge and predict. And sometimes he will side B at different timings. He will be, Recovering like this, mm. slightly higher. So see, now I'm trying to downer, I'm just getting hit. Should I just wait for him to land and punish the lag? So you could do that. You could just like, if they do very high side B, the problem with high side B is that they have to fall after mm. they land slower. So yeah, you can you could just do a downer here and then bam, hit him after. But if you want to- I was wanna, I should grab and throw them back out. Yeah, exactly. I think grab is a, a good choice for sure, mm. do that. If you want to hard call it out, you can maybe hit them with the Nair. Oops. Okay, Nair is hard. But yeah, it, it can definitely work, especially at higher percents, this would probably kill. And again, as we said, back air. Sometimes you will get a reverse hit, they will fly the other way. That's just the nature of things, unless you perfectly time it. But if you roll air and you do back air, it can work. It can also work if you do full jump back air. And then maybe we'll add a third recording of this. Very classic. He's going to the edge, right? Mm. Now this can be beaten by a well-timed downer like this. Okay, yeah, I think that I tried to hit it too early and that's why I yeah. get lit on fire. And just being on the very edge here helps a lot. Not always gonna hit, but Falco's downer is one of the best moves in the game of beating this. Uh, you can down. also use down smash if you time it properly, mm. but this one does not have a lot of um, active frames, so you have to time it very correctly. This can also work if they're doing side B to the edge like this. This is a very good recovery option that you should use, learn to use too, but it's a little bit harder, a little bit more advanced because you actually have to hit the edge. Mm. And this is especially hard on stage like Battlefield and Pokemon and so on. But Do you always insta die from there? Uh, like if you get usually like that? yes. Worst case, they can up B. So most of the time, they will be mm -hmm. uh, either die instantly, or they can do like an up B like this, and they can only go one way. So then you can just down them again. Okay. Now, um, again, what can you do against these ones? See how they're grabbing the edge for mm -hmm. both this one and this one. Here's where the ledge hog comes in. Okay. See how this is probably happening to you sometime. Yes. <laughs> so see how you can't grab it because I have it. Mm. But even when I'm not actually holding it, like I can just stay on the edge, but oftentimes you get burnt. Oh, uh, that's where the interval frames come in. Yes. So you want to grab the edge. That, okay, yeah. Okay. I will say that to grab the edge, it's slightly easier to grab it if you jump and press back a little. It's a very lean time, like jump, press back, just tap it. And then what you want to do is right as they're about to hit you a little bit before, um, you want to press L or R to roll. Okay. The important thing about this one is that in melee, this counts as you holding the edge as long as you're still rolling. The game thinks, okay, well, she's doing an edge motion. So holding the edge, holding the edge, holding the edge, still holding the edge. And that's why it helps too. So you're not only interval, but the interval keeps going. I mean, while you're still holding it. So could I technically be like rolling over there and he still can't grab? Like if I time it too early? Yeah, like this. Oh, just no, that didn't work. This barely, barely. 
What? Fargo's roll is not the longest. Is it? What? It's super long. What there, we mean? I mean, <laughs> okay, there we go. I mean, it's not the slowest. Okay. If I'm at 100%, where the roll gets slower, I don't know if you know this. It's slower at percent. I didn't know. See how it's even. Oh, that's when he sometimes climbs up. I didn't know why that sometimes happened. Yes. Right, so this one's even slower. See, see how early mm. I can start the roll. Uh, there's some niche situations for some characters where you want to do stand up. That's where Sheik comes in. Hmm. Oh, because she lands on the stage uh, after her poof thing. Uh, basically, yes. She Sheik will almost always go on stage, Unle but that is generally because you should force her to not go onto the edge. So. Sheik will do like this, jump, up B, like this, right? Mm. And you can hit her after the poof. But the problem is that if she poofs properly, or she goes to the edge, you're invincible when you grab the edge. Mm. And you're invincible when you teleport. So you can't hit her right. What do you do? Uh, we'll make sure she doesn't get ledge. By grabbing it. Perfect. Uh, but at what part of her poofing do I explode? There's like a part of her, there's a part of her animation where like if you try yeah, to... Yeah, you see you see the explosion, that's that's the part. Yeah, it explodes me if I touch it. Yeah. Hmm. So you have to grab the edge before that happens. Okay. Let's say like this happens. Oops. Uh, let's make a better recording. This. Yeah. Now if she poofs closer... It might be harder, so let's say... Uh, let's say she does... Like this. Now if you grab the edge too early, you get poofed. So then, what do you do? Delay the grab. You could do that, yes, but there's also another option we've been, we showed earlier. I can hit her instead, because she's delaying. You could do that too. But there's one more option. Grab the edge and then what? Press a button. Oh, and roll. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, you see that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, now, if she knows you're going to do this, mm -hmm. she will then go on stage like this. Because mm. she knows that if she tries to grab the edge, she will just die. Mm -hmm. so oh, then, that's why you want to do the short. Yes. Up. Sometimes you want to do the short one. I will say start out by just doing a roll. Just okay. to keep it consistent. But if you get very noticeable, you can do this. And, and then F smash is the best one there. F smash or down smash. Okay. But I want to go past her and do it. Yeah, so you hit her off. You don't want to like hit her into the middle of the stage. Mm. You could also grab her, but generally a smash. But yeah, that, that that's a basic thing. This is also very good against Marth. Marth loves to up B to the edge. Yeah, but he grabs. He can't land on, right? He can grab. He can land on. Oh, can? Uh, yeah. Again, you can use some of these concepts yourself, right? Mm -hmm. If you think they're going to grab the edge and roll up, then you should aim for the stage. Yes. And so on. But there are situations where, like, you can't really do it. So yeah. is that... Is it, it just a, some, sometimes, you just if you're, like, here, yeah. I will grab the edge if I grab the edge. But if they hold the edge, yeah, you're just dead. Okay. But at that point, you shouldn't have been hit off that far to begin with. You should have DI'd so that you could have recovered further. Mm. Basically, that is also an actual very important thing. If you ever hit them so far off, let's say they're like at this far percent. And e like even if they technically survive this, mm. so let's say, let's say 60. Like, and they can barely make it back on stage. You can just grab this or and then roll and because they can't land on the stage like this mm -hmm. they just won't make it back very important to to learn this and uh, sometimes you will just get a kill where normally you would have to read again mm. for now though i think the most important thing is just to prevent people from you know going on stage like just doing like this and this like just punish those very easy ones that's uh very important when you when when you start hitting them for doing that, that's when the Falcos will start sliding to the edge instead. Mm. And once they start sliding to the edge, or once they start going to the edge like this, oops, 
like this. Oops. Like this. Mm -hmm. That's when you can start grabbing the inch. Okay. Uh, just a quick question. So let's say that, um, for example, I think that they're gonna come in and like sort of try to land on the stage, but they go for the ledge. Mm -hmm. So then I'm standing like, well, I'm standing around here and they're grabbing the ledge, right? What do I want to do then? Because then it's like, okay, they're gonna have to come up somehow. Mm -hmm. How do I like guard that little Again, area? This is, a, this is a ledge trapping. This is no longer edge guarding in the same way. Okay. So that's why we're not going to go through this too much. But okay. a general thing is that you could either stand here and try to down them as they're going to come up, mm. depending on what option they're going to do. Or do the same thing. and You retreat to around here and you either because you try to backer them as they try to jump in. Or maybe like this, they try to jump high. Or you can laser them. Yeah, because usually I'll run back and I'll start spamming some lasers. Yeah, this is what you see other people do too. Yeah. And then they have to land, they have to get up, they get hit by a laser, and you can grab them, throw throw them off, mm. or you can do a shuffle nair, make sure you don't fall off, stuff like that. This is also a good thing, good thing to practice, like just making sure you don't fall off while doing yes. that. And then if if to if we turn the tables, uh, I think that they're gonna grab ledge, so I edge hog, but they go back on stage then I have to try and sort of navigate through whatever yeah. the fuck they're gonna do, exactly. you know what I mean? For some characters like Sheik, who's laggier, you could probably like... You, you have time to get up, even if they land on stage, but mm -hmm. some characters like Fox and Falco, if you go on stage here, uh, instead of grabbing the edge, like this, you don't have very much lag, right? So then the tables might be turned. Mm -hmm.